Ren Vincent, violin maker, musician, and Bronco, Chris Hutchings. Hello. Chris Hutchings with a G, isn't it? Yeah. I was trying to call it Hutchings. I'd be surprised how many times we've called Hutchins, Hutchinson, everything but, don't or worry. even Hutch. Don't worry, I've been called a lot worse, so it's I wouldn't worry about it. It's fine. So we, what we're going to do is I have got two handmade Baroque bows. Which you won't tell me the price of. I'm, I will tell <laughs> you the price later. Uh, made by Glenn Titmus. Um, I saw one of these bows that he'd made. I thought it was fabulous. By the time I came back to buy it, some so-and-so had bought it. So I, uh, <laughs> he, he promised to make me an identical one. And I think he's got pretty close on these. So I've got four bows here. Um, the two from Glenn, we've got a Oh. For comparison, we've got a £35 carbon fibre bow from the internet, a Baroque styly, well, with a, with a cambo. And we've also got a 19th century French bow. So they're all pretty light, to be honest, because the French one's very light. And the, um, the carbon fibre one is probably the, the beefiest. Yeah. So. Probably will. Over to you, mate. <laughs> Why did you put this on me? Um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I'm going to pick up a violin as well, and we'll, I, I think it'd be quite good fun if we both use the same yeah. bow and then pass it backwards and forwards. So to see speak. who. So I'm going to go with. Uh, if you, you want to use your favourite one. Now. Well, you've got the ash one. I'll I'll use an ash one as well then. So this okay. should be. I mean, obviously, there's always a difference between violins, but these are, you know, brother and sister, so to speak. These two. So. Which one's the sister? <laughs> sister and sister. Oh, I'll tell you what, we ought to tune them up the same way. Yeah. It's um, it's mine. Yeah, I know. Therefore, I'll let you tune it. In other words, I can't get in trouble if it breaks string. I'm not saying it's perfect, but they're they're Oops. perfectly out of tune together. It's right for folk. Yeah. <laughs> Good. What do you want to start with? I think should, let's start with the carbon fibre one. Okay. Then it's like, here we are. Dominant strings, Chinese carbon fibre bow. Do you want to play first or do you want me to play first? I'll play first if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. You take, you take and I'm going to play the same piece every time. Um, I'm going to play just a, a couple of lines of Molly Oxford. Quid, it's really good. I don't think you can get them for 35 quid anymore. That was about three years ago. Yeah, I expect you can't anymore. <laughs> no, it's gone up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder why that is. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. It's all right. You can bash the Tories from. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, you or, never know who's watching. Well, it's true. But, Boris Johnson, yeah. if you're going to buy a violin, we love you. These, just out of interest, <laughs> this one here, okay, this Applewood one. <laughs> When I started making that, Boris Johnson was in power, and then Liz Truss was in power, and by the time I finished the varnish, Rishi Sunak was in power. So it's, um, oh, and also we had QE2 on the, on the throne when I started, and um, oh, King Charles yeah, III yeah. on the throne by the time I finished it. It's so. quite a rare violin then. It is. And it, <laughs> all of those names life. don't mean that I was moving slowly either. It's just things did move very quickly in the UK <laughs> around that time. Uh, but anyway. We digress. Oh. Fire away, Maestro. Right. Um, so I'm going to play the same tune as well. And I don't know what I'm going to play. So... Uh, I'm going to play Grenadier Guards. That's the one. Okay. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's all right. It's okay. It's... it's I haven't got a, I haven't got a problem with it. French bow. 
So actually quite an expensive bow, strictly speaking. Okay, nice. It works well for some pieces on some violins. I don't think it would necessarily be the one I would choose on this violin all the time. I should have done a ricochet test. <laughs> well, I might actually yeah, just quick do it. Yeah. Ricochet test. No, <laughs> it's all right for. Light. It's light. Good job. It's, um, it, uh, it gives be, a more fuller sound. It'd be interesting to see what this one, I think this is going to be dreadful for your ricochet test in a minute. Right. Uh, but this, we'll see. So. It's nice. I, I actually, it, it's. Some people will absolutely hate that. I really like it. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> We're polar opposites, then. Yeah, probably. It's actually really light. Isn't it, it really is light. Yeah. That's. <laughs> it's even lighter than the French one. That's actually <laughs> scary. Yeah. How light that is. Yeah. Because well, the French one is under fifty grams. That's forty-seven. That's going to have to be something in it. No, it doesn't. Do too bad. It, it's got a slightly mellow sound. It's a more it? mellow sound. Yeah, I like it. I haven't got anything against it. The only thing is, I just find that sometimes with Baroque bows. Yeah, I'm going to that one off actually. Yeah, okay. Don't know if you want to use it again, seeing as it's your favourite. No, that's not my favourite. Really. It's not your favourite. No, this. Oh, this is a real heavy weight. This comes in at forty six point one grams. Oh, good. I like that one then. a bit better. Not that much dissimilar, but it's a bit better. See, I don't do that much of that, to be honest, ever. <laughs> That's a lucky. <laughs> probably, probably not relevant to my playing style. Yeah, it's <laughs> lovely, isn't it? <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, it's really nice. That's really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that then? Out of all three of them? Out of all four. All yeah. four? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I suppose the uh, fake one. Well, okay, well, yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. But um, I actually would rate that my highest. Yeah, I, I do too. Yeah. I, I would. I, what I was, I was going to say earlier. I'm not terribly keen on the Baroque style bows because yeah. I don't think they give a fullness of tone. Because yeah. this one isn't too bad because, of course, you do get that. But if you put the French one, which is the more traditional bow that we're used to seeing, yeah. I still think it gives a better tone. Mm. Mm. But actually, if I was going to play at speed, yeah. I'd want that one. Which is kind of, because what, what I tend to be playing slow airs and then also a lot of stuff really quite quickly. So I actually do prefer a, a Baroque bow and a light bow. So I don't blame me. For me, this is, this is absolutely great. So, handmade in England. The pri this was the price last year when I ordered it. The price, no, actually earlier this year. So the price will certainly have gone up. So... 
don't go to the guy, Glenn Titmus, saying, I want the one for that price. Okay, because you won't get it. By the way, <laughs> in disclosure, yeah. we're not saying it is no. about price stuff. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say here, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, um, I'm not getting paid anything for this, uh, but it's such a good bow that I thought I'd mention it. To be fair, he's... How much do you reckon that is? Go on, don't, don't feel shy, don't feel embarrassed. I would have been happy to pay about 120 quid for the bow. Really? It's as little as that? But I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, okay. No, that's fair enough. If, if In if, fact, it, that he's charging £200, which is, is what he? I'm paying for it, to be honest. But personally, I've never seen anything for 200 quid, which is as good as this. No, that that's true. Yeah. That's true. I'll give you that. I suppose 120 is a bit unfair, but then I will point this out. I'm very much a... Yeah, no, you are. I, I love it. Bearing love in it. mind, yeah. bearing in mind, if you'd have said how much I'd have paid for this, yeah. I'd have said about 250. Okay, well... Uh, you probably, probably a bit, a bit more. Yeah, actually. probably it for what it is. You probably need to be paying about seven hundred and fifty nowadays. Oh really? Yeah. How long have you had this bow? I've had it for about eight years, and that's that was an evaluation this last oh, year. Oh okay, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. It's frightening, isn't it? Yeah. But bows are strange. Isn't it weird though? Because there's yeah. a, there's a sort of saying that bows you're supposed to pay a quarter of the value of the instrument. Yeah. That's what I was always taught. That could, if you had, if you had a Stradivarius, that would be that'd be very expensive. Bow. Horribly expensive. Bow. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think we're done. Yeah. Yep. Very yeah. nice. I think the the opinion is divided. The fiddle player really loves it. The viola player thinks it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> I just is that crap? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, who are you, you going to trust? The only thing. Anyway, you didn't have to say about this one. The price of this one? Uh, same price. Is it? Yeah. Well, well that's really surprising. Why do you want to buy it? <laughs> it's for sale. I'm yeah. sure he'd be very happy to sell it to you. Anyway, no, I, I've got a... He, he sent me two so I can evaluate which one I prefer and send the other one back, basically. So so you're going to keep this one, then? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's the slightly heavier one? No, it's the lighter one. Is it? Yeah. This is... It's, it's stiffer. Um, okay. I, I, I'd say it's, I thought that was a slightly heavier one. Here, so. No, I could be wrong. I said it was a weighs in at a massive forty six grams. But well, it, it's still that's, heavier that's than forty seven grams. That one. Oh. And the French one is forty nine grams. Yeah. So, no, that, that really works for me. I like that bow a lot. So. Well, I'm glad you like the bow. It's lovely, <laughs> isn't it? But, <laughs> No. Who trusts Viola players anyway? Who cares about yeah. that? <laughs> but, uh, it's lovely though. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I shall, um, not that I'm very good at this whole YouTube thing, but um, like and subscribe and all of that. Yes. Uh, yes details yes. for Bronco are down below, as is all my stuff. And I will also put, a, um, I'll mention the name, uh, of, I'll put Glenn Titmus's name down there. And if I can find a link to something useful, I'll, I'll put that there for you as well. Fantastic. I love it anyway. Well, thanks very much. Nice. Cool. Good. Signing off. Tootie Pip, as they say.